Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapfix. Got you another video for you guys today. Got this one, nice 2017 MacBook Air. Ooh, look at that keyboard, special keyboard, right? Looks like an Arabic one. It's pretty cool. It's in here for repair because why? It's not turning on, and when it's not turning on, it's when the fun happens, right? So let's actually go ahead and plug it in. Let's see our symptoms because that's always what we like to do first. So I got my chargers here. I got all my other Max chargers right here just so I can show you guys all the stuff here. So let's plug this in and see what the symptoms are getting. So you see there's no AC light there. This is a MagSafe 2. There's no AC light. I think this one shows that it actually does like come on, but there was like a problem. I'm mistaken, right? Yeah, so actually look, look at that. Right, so no AC light and it shows the battery icon with a charge icon. So probably what most people are thinking what? Maybe it's not charging. Um, makes sense, right? Because the MagSafe light isn't on. That's actually a very good indication that something's not charging, right? But it's detecting it. It is turning on. So it's a little bit interesting to see what the problem is for something like this, right? Let's actually open it up and take a look and see what's going on. What's behind door number one. So let's do that. Okay, so let's open it up. This one's a little bit more basic. We show this one a lot um, because it's still very popular. And I say that like every time we make one of these videos. It's still a very popular device. It's very affordable. And it's very repairable. And that's what we love really about them. Um, and the SSD is separate, so you don't have that, that problem. It's a nice compact size. It's very, very light, blah, blah, blah yada, yada, yada. Right? Um, I'm not sure. Can you still get them anymore? Like, not new, but like, I guess new. This is 2017. So this is the last model uh, without the Retina display that they make. I think the MacBook Pros transitioned, what, in 2016, right? Yeah, the MacBook Pros are all 2016 that transitioned. This is still a 13-inch. They stopped making the 11-inch, I think. Oh, they didn't make that in a long time, the 11-inch one. That was a cool size. Oops, that one's already done. We're going to lift this up. Let's see what we got here. Ah, so we see that already. Um, something interesting. Obviously, there's a bit of liquid there. But the liquid doesn't seem really to be the number one problem, right? And we see something very interesting from before. And we see this, this little bit of stickiness here. We see that? And look, the cable is lifted there because of the stickiness. But it kind of makes a lot of sense, right, that this cable will do that because, right, probably this is moving around or lifted up, right, or just moving around normally, probably moving the laptop. This can get a little bit undone here because it's sticking, so it's pulling up very slightly. But it can do that, and it's lifting up this cable. Now, what's this cable attached to? You see, this cable here is attached to where? Over here. Where did my charger go? It disappeared. Right oh, okay, it's right here. So this is where the MagSafe goes in, right? And it's attached to there. Do we see any corrosion or anything else here? Actually, it looks to be very clean. It looks like it just mainly hit on the back here. And this is actually doing a good job because the liquid hit more here in this area. And it looks like it protected everything from it because it doesn't look like to be anything else. There's just a little bit here and there on the board. We'll probably just do a little cleaning on that. But we know that's turning on, and the main issue is, right, that it's coming in. So let's go ahead and plug in back the battery. And let's go ahead and see if this changed anything because we should probably get our light on, right? Look. Oh, look, and the light comes on. Now it's green, then it's orange. Fan spin. And we should probably get our display here. Yep, so we get our display there. And it's turning on. Uh, probably charging probably is going to be okay. But that looks to have at least uh, fixed the type of issue there. So let's just turn this off. I'm going to show the customer's information there. Okay, so we turn this off. Okay, so that looked to have fixed it, right? So all we had to do really is just plug that in. Uh, let's just double check it here. We'll take a look under a microscope, make sure there's no other liquid damage, right? We'll open up a little bit further. But it looks to be a typical type of fix for it there. Um, See a little bit of dirt here and there, crud. We always want to make sure that we test it, make sure we'll, we'll do a visual inspection, lift up the board and stuff like that. But this is a quick little uh, test for it, especially if there's a very obvious damage like this. Now, when we have something like this too, what we want to do is we do want to make sure that uh, we clean this off. We, don't want to, we wouldn't want to put this back on there. Um, it looks to be like it just kind of hit on the top there. If you look even here too, always a good indicator too of a, if there's a liquid sewer or something to see where this happened, right? You can see the back cover. You can see the outline of the battery around there. So it looks like it was a pretty heavy one at one point. And you can see a little bit over here. Let's see if anything else happened to it. And obviously when we put this back, you're gonna have this problem again, especially if it's been moving around inside, right? Because this is gonna attach pretty much to 
the top cover here and it's going to pull a little bit and if you move it a little bit it might just pull or um, you can put like cap and tape or something but a good way for anything sticky is we can use a little bit of distilled water here too so I'm gonna get that okay so we just got a little bit of distilled water here you just dab in we get like a little q-tip and this will be very easy to come off come right off it's better using alcohol because especially for stick sticky you want to use uh, distilled water it takes makes it look really nice and it'll clean it up and especially any type of sugar that you have in there right so let's do that Even look, it's drying already. It looks to be good. Okay, so we're going to dry it up. Now look at that. Look how nice the cable looks now. Why it feels so dark. It's just so dark. Look, you can see the shine all throughout the cable. Actually looks to be pretty good. If you want to, you can obviously do that on the MacBook itself too, or at least on the back cover if you want to go ahead and clean that up. This can take off the sticky. It's good to do that. Um, not only that, obviously it's going to be touching components, but um, it's just a little bit nicer and you, we don't want to replicate the problem that that this customer had in there before right okay so what we'll also do is we'll also do a little bit of like a cleanup on the board too just to make sure everything else is good um, and then fully test it to make sure it's fine but um, yeah that would be really pretty much it for that at least this was a major part of the fix there and we see a little bit of stuff here it looks like it's just a basic clean it doesn't need anything too crazy and there I don't see anything really bad with the components so we'll do basic clean there and then we'll go ahead and test it out make sure it's all good okay so we apply pretty much the same method to everything we cleaned it up a little bit of like you know the battery and the back cover looks actually really clean look at that wow this is pretty much the same thing and then we clean this up a bit more nothing exciting though nothing ready to show but now we'll plug it in make sure we test it and that should really be about it so we're gonna charge now looks good Everything's great. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing the 2017 MacBook Air with a not charging issue. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.